Hey, welcome back, guys. This is Loud Boy. Thank you so much for joining me. This is part five of our Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time walkthrough. I'm actually playing this on the Nintendo Switch. Of course, it originally came out for the Nintendo 64 almost 30 years ago. I'm going to be using this really sweet controller, all right, just like the original controller, except it's wireless. And uh, it's an amazing controller. We're going to be playing on the Nintendo Switch. So again, Ocarina of Time Part 5. Last time, we went to Dunnago's Cavern. We got the Fire Spiritual Stone. But this time, we have a lot of really important things to do. We're going to be gathering up seven chickens, getting a couple of bottles, a bunch of gold skulltullas, really important things that we need for our quest before we move on to the next dungeon. So please join me. Thank you so much for being here. Part 5, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is Loud Boy. See you guys soon. this lady about collecting all her cocos. And she's like, she needs all seven of them. The first one's really easy. Right here. And when you get them, you just throw them in the pen. Then there's another one on a ledge right there. But first... here. And if I can ever grab this guy. Yeah. Let's see how this could go. And come up here. Use it to soar over here. Throw it off. Grab this one. Bring it up to the pen. And then we can go get this one over here. It takes a little while, but it is worth it. Because... Not only can we capture fairies, but we can um, collect bugs as well. Oh, by the way, there is a secret right around here. I may have thrown that too far. Let's go. I did. Okay. I think it's maybe... Oh, I didn't mean to throw it. There it is. So this is a nice little secret place. You can play the sun song. It freezes these guys. Once you kill them, Massive rupee right here, which unfortunately I may have gotten this prematurely, seeing as that rupee was actually bigger than my entire wallet. Okay, but still we have plenty of money to buy magic beans once we get to Zora's River. So that's a secret place, by the way, that you either know about or. You can, um, you either know about that place, or once you get the, uh, I believe it was about the stone of agony. Anyway, uh, it's a device that allows you to, um, detect secret places, uh, and it, it rumbles your, uh, pack when you hear something secret. Like an underground hole that needs to be revealed, that kind of thing. Alright, so that makes four. Those. We need three more. I 
believe there's one all the way up here, up the stairs. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so that's five. Now there's a little, there's a trick to doing this. Um, over here, there's an area that you cannot access without having the soaring ability from the chicken. So, what you do is you carry one of them up here, soar across, throw it right as you get to the edge of the fence, and then, once you have that one, you can throw them over the fence, get both of them this way. Of course, there is one more, and that's up this ladder next to the window. There he is. So let me go drop this guy off, and then we can get the, the last two. Probably need to do our soaring trick on that fence one more time. Because the other guy's still on the other side of the fence. The only way you can access it at this point in the game is to do the trick that I just showed you. So you go up here once again. When you get to the edge, soar, throw on top of the ladder, pick up oops, pick up the dude, go. Come here, little guy. Try not to fall in the hole, of course. That'll mess up your whole plan. Throw him over the fence. Go grab the other guy. Same procedure. Go up the stairs. Throw him over the fence. And then you go over the fence. Alright, once Link is over the fence, he can grab the Kuko. Whoops. Uh, grab the Kuko. Been doing that a lot lately with bombs and with chickens. All right, that should be six. One more to go. Come here, buddy. Get him back to his home, and then we talk to the chicken chick. All right, chicken lady. Thank you for finding my cuckoos. I have allergies, so I get goosebumps when I touch them. Well, then maybe raising chickens isn't your thing. All right, so, for helping me, I will give this to you. It's fine glass and should be useful. Please take good care of it. Dun, 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 dun. Empty bottle. Very good. Now, if we look at our inventory, we have two. One's empty, the other one has a fairy in it. Now, if we come up here, there is a rock near the graveyard. which we can pick up, I think it's over here. Right here, on, right outside the graveyard. Meanwhile, let's put this bottle on one of our C buttons. Lift up the rock, swipe with your bottle, and guess what, we have bugs in a bottle. Why do we want that? Well, because over here, when it is nighttime, you can actually put them in the ground. I think it has to be nighttime. Let's just do it just in case. Okay, we need that sun song once again. Which is right down up, right down up. Alright, so now it's nighttime. Here's the howl of the wolf. Now, what you do is you simply take out your bottle with the bug. The bugs come out. When you hear that chime, that means you've done it correctly. They'll burrow themselves into the sand. You have the soft so soil spot. And out pops exactly what we want. Alright, so now we have... How many do we have? Fourteen. Very good. Alright, so we now we have 14 of those. I'm 
trying to remember. Oh yeah, we if there is one, yeah, there's one on that wall up there. But guess what? We cannot get this yet. Right up there. However, when we get the boomerang, we'll be able to. We just don't have the boomerang yet. So that one's out of reach for now. So, we did that. In an earlier installment of this series, um, we actually got all... Oh yeah, meanwhile, hey, you know what? Let's go back and get some bugs while we're here. You also can get them in the Lost Woods. But uh, th these soft soil spots, pick up the rock, swipe with your bottle, using the C button and push the map. Boom, we got some bugs again. So the next soft soil. So basically, uh, what you do is, when you after you buy the magic beans, you plant them in those soil spots, and then um, the, these plants or these le these leaves will grow. Those leaves then allow you to um, take different shortcuts and things throughout the game. There is another one up there on Death Mountain. You know what? Let's head that way. I'm kind of running low on bombs. I think I have enough, though. Um, up Death Mountain, there's a couple places in which you can use your bombs. And one of them actually has a gold gold tulip inside of it. And also there is a, a uh, spot of soil up here as well where we can put the bugs. Let's just avoid these guys. Excuse me, guys. And avoid him. Yes, yeah, so and here it is right here. Uh, I used that trick in an earlier installment to do the backflip to get the heart piece. So we don't need this, but this will come in handy later. Uh, especially when we're trying to get the big golden sword. Um, that leaf giving us a, a quick method to sail up Death Mountain really aids you in getting that multi-part uh, quest done. Where time is of the essence. So, Pretty sure it's this way. Unless I missed it back there. It could have could have been back there. There is one right here, however. When this guy comes down to stay to the inside of the wall, you sometimes if you're too close to the outer edge, he can knock you off. Which is no fun. Alright, so this one has a chest. And rupees, which I didn't need. Um all right, so let's actually head back down. Unfortunately, I missed the spot to which I wanted to go. I was actually down there when I was avoiding those guys. Uh, I, I walked right by it, my bad. So meanwhile, all right, how many do we have now? I think it's 15, right? Whoops. Yep, yeah, 15, okay. Right along, yeah, there it is. I take out a bomb, put, put it down, and right here, believe it or not, believe it or not, that wall can be climbed. So take out your, there you go. Take out your uh, slingshot, nail it, climb the wall, and that makes 16. Very good. Let's see, where should we go next? We could use the Lost Woods. Um, we can get that through uh, the Goron City. I'm trying to think of the quickest way to get back over there. Uh, yeah, a lot of walking in this part of the game. When we're small, when we don't have a horse. A lot of just, you know, walk, 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 walk. But anyway, it's just part of the game. A little like that. Now, when you have the Song of Storms, you can actually play it there to uh, reveal another hitting grotto. 
another hole uh, through which you can enter. Let's see, right over here. I think it's on, is it on the second level? I'm about to find out. Heart would be nice. All right, no hearts, okay. Um, I always forget exactly where this is. Here we go. Pretty sure this will take us to the Lost Woods. Here we are at the Lost Woods. Now sometimes there are, yep, bugs. And also, depending on where you are in the Lost Woods. Okay, so yeah, that led out. And guess what though, over here in Kokiri Forest, you know, our, our home basically, guess what's here? Yes, another soil spot. So what we can do, we need to be nighttime once again. Because that's the only time in which you can actually, um, you know, get the gold skull tellers. They only come out at night. All right, so basically, let's, we have a bug. It's in our bottle. It is night. So let's jump down. Same as before. The chime lets us know we've got it going. And it should produce our gold skull. Yep. It, they burrowed underground, revealing this guy. Number 17. So now that we have number 17, we can head back to the Lost Woods, grab another bug, and there's at least, what, two other places? Up? And there's at least one. I'm trying, I think there might be a second one here. Guy doing this from memory completely here, so, but you know. All right. Once you come in here, you turn right, turn left. That'll take you to Goran City. No, here, yeah, right here. Got some more bug. Got another bug in here. And I think this is the, no, this is the right way. Good. All right, that actually will take you to over, at, I believe, Zoro's River. And okay, yep. Here we go. Oh, yep. Here's, here's a spot right here. Is that a chime telling us that we've done it correctly? When we're adults, after we plant the magic beans, I believe that's 18. Yeah, got 18. Very good. Over here, there is a secret place in the grass. There it is. Another hidden thing. Um, don't believe there's much we can do here yet. I believe we can do something later. Again, going off of memory here. Uh, yeah, that's Jimmy. Nice try, dude. All right. Meanwhile, let's head out. This time, when we re-enter the Lost Woods, we're going to, well, we need a bug first. So let's follow our original path. Turn right. Turn left. In the place where, yeah, where the Goron is grass right here. Again, strike down the grass. Use your bottle. Got another bug. Thank you for the heart. We are going to head back this way. And if this is our starting point, which I believe it is. Yep, here we go. This Skull Kid, if you turn left through this place, you come over here, there we go. We can put a bug here. 
later on this will be a shortcut that takes you to that bridge where uh, Saria or Sarah said bye to us, um, which we saw in installment one of this series. Okay, so that makes 19. Okay, so there's 19. What, what, I'm trying to remember what Skull Kid wants to hear. I think it's Sarah's song. Let's see, hold on. Alright, down, down, right, left, down, right, left. Okay. You know this song. He says, Do you want to be friends? And boom, another piece of heart. That's three. With one more, we can get a whole new heart container. Alright, very good. So we got a couple more gold skull pills. We got a piece of heart. While we're here, though, let's grab a bug. Sometimes you can blow that rock and gain access to another hidden grotto, however. I'm not worried about that at the moment. There's also something you do by lighting the torches on that bottom floor and throwing a bomb into that vase, I believe, is uh, you get another heart container there. We're not going to do that at this time, but that is another thing in which you can do. can be kind of tricky. Um, our wallet's full anyway. Alright, here we go. And guess what? I did it again. Alright, so we do have bombs. Let's go down here. Okay. I guess I already got that one. Pretty sure there was a gold skull teller there. Anyway, however, moving on, we're gonna leave the village, go back out to Hyrule Field. If we come over here to Lon Lon Ranch, there is there are a couple things in which we can get. One of which is a gold skull on the back side of the uh, the horse place where all the horses run and the training and stuff like that. Also on the back side of that is that, that tower. And uh, I mentioned that in an earlier installment. In that tower, if you move the crates around, there is a hidden piece of heart as well. There is a gold skull pillar high up on the wall in Lon Lon Ranch, however. Cannot get it until you have the boomerang. And of course the boomerang, if you know or you may not, uh, we get that when we go to uh, Lord Jabba Jabba. Um, inside of that. And one 
once again, press the wrong button. That's why I always have that map to the bottom. And I have this map. There we go. Play the sun song. Okay. So it's nighttime at the ranch. Yeah, right up here. Check it out. High on this wall. We cannot get it yet without the boomerang. I'm trying to remember, is there a one right here? Yep. So there's at least three at the ranch. Alright, so that, get, that gets us up to 20. Very good. Now, like I said, when it's night, on this wall back here on the back side of the fenced area. Hello. I said so there's the tower. And there's a room inside there. There's a cow and a bunch of uh, there's keys flying around. That's why Navi's trying to alert me to them. Anyway, so inside this room, believe it or not, they keep two cows. All right, so the gist is this: we need to grab these crates and move them in a certain order to get them out of the way. Sometimes this is going to be tricky, sometimes not. Um, okay. Well, at the moment it's being tricky because I'm being stupid. Alright, grab, push. Okay, now that that's there, we can grab it on this side. Oh, grab, pull it back. This is like one of those frustrating puzzles, you know, the kind where you slide around the plastic pieces. I always hate those things. That's why this thing's always frustrated me. Alright, grab this one, pull it back. And then, once you have that, you can come in here, grab this one. I stop actually clinging onto them. Down. And grab. Pull it back. Gives us just enough clearance. And if you want, you can grab it and push it away. It's up to you. But if not, turn around. And guess what? Enter this little hole when it says enter. Climb through the passageway. And then there is a secret piece of heart back here. Which gives us our sixth heart. We just completed another heart container. Now that we got that, we got two skulls here, we get a piece of heart. We're up to what, like 21 I believe? Yep, 21. Yeah, I see the shadow. Bats are trying to get me here. We're just gonna make a run for it. Still nighttime. Now you can actually. There's a couple places. Now, a couple more places we could go. Um, one of which is Gerudo Valley. That's what I get for doing that. Thank you for the heart. There we go. Moving on. Alright, so to get there, you need to head around to the back of the ranch. 
on the western side of, of Hyrule Field is the entrance to uh, Gerudo Valley. And if you look at the map in the bottom right of the screen, you can see the yellow arrow that indicates me on the map and how I'm headed that, that very direction right now. It is almost daybreak, so we'll have to use the sun song once again. Hey, wait up, buddy. Right, thank you for the words of encouragement. Hoot, hoot, hoo. And the cock crows. We will head this way. There is a secret grotto over there. We don't need to go there yet. Hey. Yeah, what do you have to say? Oh, okay. the bridge yet. However, Now, down, I believe it's lower here. Alright, there's a rock. Back towards the, yeah, back towards the waterfall. Okay, yeah, there it is right there. I do not have the chicken anymore. Yay me. Looks like we're going for a swim. We're going down the river. Alright. So we're not going to get that other thing at the moment. However, there are things that we can get at Lake, Lake Hylia. One, I believe, requires the boomerang. Which, when it's nighttime, is right here. And now it's gone. Here, let's take out our ocarina. get that with a boomerang. However, if you head around to this side of the laboratory, guess what we have here? Okay. This will give us our 20 second. see if I can get a bomb here. Yep. Good. Alright, 
Alright, so. Didn't get. However, I do have. What do we have? Okay, we're up to nine. Got him for free. You're gonna like that. You can go do the Scarecrow song. We'll probably do that later. That's back that way. Also, the fishing game. Fishing game's pretty cool. Um. So this is the way out of Lake Hylia. We kind of took the shortcut, taking the river out of there. And there's the owl once again. Always wanting to talk to us. Right, so now we're on the bottom of the map. The first place on our right is the uh, forest, the place in which we're from. The second place, if we head up this way, takes us to Zora's River. And I believe there's a secret place right here where we can blow up this boulder. Probably wasting my time is probably money. Yeah, okay. However, bugs. Get the bottle out. Got the bug. There's also a fish. We don't have to get it here. We can get it at Zora's Domain. But we do need a fish to... Um, Entice uh, Lord Jabba Jabba to actually open this big gap and let us in, get to that dungeon. So, uh, yes, we need to be alone. See Death Mountain on the horizon there. Normally, never deal with these stupid enemies in the field. This time, it seems like I've awakened every one of them. Just having all all the luck today. <laughs> so, all right. So here we go. Just past the forest, and if we look at our map, we are real close to, to the river. One way to get across here quickly is to use this little side patch. That way, you don't have to wade through the water. Science says. Zora's River. Alright, so. Basically, for now, just stay out of the water. There's probably some bombs in here. Okay, not this time. I'll take the hearts though. Is it still nighttime? And we're in Stronger already, Link. Just ahead lies Zora's Domain. Zora serve Hyrule's royal family by protecting this water source. Their door will not open for anyone except those who have a connection with the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Hoot hoot. Alright, so obviously, up ahead, in front of a waterfall, there will be a Triforce. And that's where we can play Zel uh, Zelda's Lullaby. That's the song. Okay, come on. Thank you, roll into the tree, and guess what we have? Alright, so this is the place that I mentioned we need the bombs. Okay, so with the bombs, drop it, blow the boulders. That's the first, before we could not get to that. The cuckoo is actually helpful there. And if you have bugs, guess what? It is nighttime. You can simply set them to here. It should be should make twenty-three.
Okay. I'm not sure why that didn't work. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's not one of them. Alright, so he's selling magic beans. Well, guess what? All those soil places are places in which you can buy magic beans and plant them. So, for example, now that we have a magic bean... Sorry, guys. Try this again. There we go. Stand by it. Press the C button in which you map your magic bean. There we go. Let's grab some more from them while we're here. They go up by, uh, they go up every time you buy them. By the end, you're paying quite a bit. So this one's 20. The third one will be 30, I believe. At first, he's like he couldn't sell them to anyone, and now he's saying they're all the rage. Well, guess what? Supply and demand. I keep demanding them, and he keeps increasing the price as the supply dwindles. It's basically economics. At least this guy believes in capitalism. All right, so magic beans. Do I want one for fifty? Sure. And basically, since the next one will be sixty, that's the last one I can buy for now. But I have four. Which is great. We, before we go on, we're gonna head back to the village. Because I believe we have enough to get ourselves another uh, reward for freeing the Gold Skull Tullus, since we have like 23 of them now. I believe, yeah, you can walk right along this water line. Nice quick way to get over here. Straight shot right up to Kakariga Village. First one, and is this the second one? No, nope, that was the first one. This is the second one. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward. And we got it, guys. The Stone of Agony. So basically, because I have the modern. Nintendo 64 controller for the Switch. I have the Rumble Pack built in. And guess what? Right when I walk right here, it is rumbling, telling me that there's that secret uh, grotto down below. The one in which I, I blew up and got that big rupee earlier. So, now we have this, and it's going to tell us where secret things are hidden as we walk by and get near them. Great little thing. So now we have the Stone of Agony. Nice. Guess what rumble, guys? Secret. <laughs> Lovely. Good job. Of course, I believe I came down here prematurely because right there we're going to need the boomerang to get that. So we shall come back later. Make a mental note. 
went early for that one. There is another secret on the other side of the castle drawbridge, however. And it's this direction. Alright, see the boulder right there? <laughs> okay. Um, not the worst, I guess, but we have uh, seeds suspended in air. Very nice. But at least we got a few bombs out of it. Okay, we're going to head this direction now. I know the, uh, the spiritual water stone is the next one. However, what you're seeing now is the big collection. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to collect and find. Uh, gold skull tellers and, and uh, uh, pieces of heart and things like that. So yeah, what, what we're doing tonight or today is going through the big collection of things. Alright, so. Let's drop this bomb here. I did not mean it. <laughs> Once again. Uh, let's try this. There we go. I am awakening all the jerks tonight. And a fairy fountain. Which makes me wonder... If I should release the bugs and grab another fairy. Sure. Alright, so. Let's let the bugs go. Go free. And now, guess what, guys? We have two fairies. Which will come in handy in our upcoming endeavors and battles. of heart and we cannot get it yet yeah that's going to require I believe iron boots later so we can sink down and go underwater with our, um, our water tunic so we can actually breathe underwater so that's something that we can get later I'm just re remembering all this off the top of my head um, all these secret locations and items but of course gloriously getting them out of order in the wrong place. So let's do something here. A little bit of impromptu time travel. It's gonna be daytime. Here comes the drawbridge. There is a trick. I, uh, I only have 55 at the moment. Rupees, however, guess what, guys? Remember, the, uh, there's the guardhouse, yes. 
However, if you climb this chain right here, and jump off, there are red rupees there, each one worth 20. So that got us back into that. Five, we're at 125. Not bad. Let's see, 60 plus 70, 130. So we're a little bit shy of getting two more because the next one will be uh, 60, and after that will be uh, 70. The next two uh, magic beans. So that's what we can spend our money on. I believe we already got that. Um, there is, however, another important thing that I believe we can do now that we have bombs. Now that we have bombs, we can come over here. Jump off the wall. And as, you know, as you can see, we're headed towards Hyrule Castle. But since we have a bomb, we can blow this boulder. Enter this hole. Go through the tunnel. And guess what we have? A great fairy fountain. What do we play in the Triforce? Zelda's Lullaby. And up comes a great fairy. Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. <laughs> so this is our second Great Fairy. This gives us Din's Fire. Very helpful. Um, to this way you can you can use it on enemies but you can also use Din's fire you can cast it it uses some of your magic meter because um, it's a magic spell but the fireball actually can light nearby torches uh, so there are certain doors and places that will open up when torches are lit and that way you don't have to get a Deku stick and find a fire you can light fire anywhere you want so that's what Din's fire does for you <laughs> And basically, she's reiterating what I just said. You can use Din's fire not only to attack, but to burn things. When battles made you weary, please come back and see me. Yeah, if you're low on hearts and uh, about to die, uh, they will always refill your hearts for you as well. Any of the fairy fountains will do that. So that is Great Fairy Fountain. Number two. It's a quick way to get out of here. Yep, just get stopped. They kick you out. Sorry, sir. I will leave the premises. Sorry I was trespassing. Alright, so let's get out of here. So now we have Din's Fire. Now we have the Stone of Agony. Um... From all the gold skeletellas, we got additional heart pieces. Um, there is something else you can do at night here, in which you can um, find a dog and bring it to a lady to get a piece of heart. We're probably not going to do that now. I might stop off for a few more rupees, though. That is a 
quick way to make to get rid of a bunch of pots right there. A lot less slashing. Uh, check it out, guys. We're up to 150 now. I'll take it. And now that we have all that, we can head back to Zora's River. It's on the eastern side of the map, so I'm heading back this way. Again, if you cross this stream right here, you can walk along the edge. That way you don't have to navigate the water. There we go. There are two heart pieces and possibly two Skulltellas that we can get. One, I believe, requires a boomerang. There's a hidden grotto. There's several things up to us with it. Um, for the free bombs. Thank you. Love it. Guess what, dude? We just went through this. Yes. Thank you very much. And perfect timing. It is now nighttime. Let's grab our Kuko. I don't have any bugs, so that's fine. I believe it's Song of Storms that does right here. Although it could be a bomb. Yeah, it's Song of Storms. Very good. Alright. What'd you get over here? Alright, so now that we have him, we can use him to float to places to which we could not reach otherwise. Alright, so check out that piece of heart up there. You guys see it? Take you to go this direction. Okay, I missed. Yay, me. Um, On yet. Okay, well, I messed that up. Can I still get him? I don't think so. I'm not sure where he is. The gist is you, you float over there with your Kuko. And then, um... No, he's not. Okay. Alright, so here we go. Let's just head up Zora's River. There is a gold skull color we can get. Wait, there's, there's the chicken right there. I'm not sure. Okay. Alright. And I don't feel like doing the frog right now. So let, let's keep heading up. Yes, Navi. Okay. 
I could have taken the, uh, the could go all the way up here. Now, right down there, near that ladder. there. This waterway uh, will actually lead to the Lost Forest. This right here is where we take this out, play Zella's lullaby. not it'll let us to pass through and guess what guys we are now in Sora's domain Scale. It's kind of like the Goron um, gauntlet, uh, that, or you know, bracelet thing that we got that allows us to pick up bomb flowers. This will allow us to uh, dive deep underwater. So, if we actually win this game, and a lot of times I, uh, I kind of stink at this. So bear with me. It'd be nice if I got it on the first try. If you get all five of those at a certain time. Limit. Shadow, like right over the gem. Four. And I might actually get it the first time. Come on, swim. Back, 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 back. Swim. I right, got it. So once you get all five of those, you have to go back and see him at the top. So we're going to swim over. Once we have that scale, we will be able to dive deep enough to swim over to Lake Hylia. Because there is something special for us waiting in the water. got a silver scale. Jump in the water, press A, and you can dive deeper than you did before. Alright, so we got it. Alright, so check it out. Right over here. By the way, there's a stone of agony. Highlighted right there. Right above our 24 gold skull tullas. And then right here, there's a Goron's bracelet. And right below that, the silver scale. So that's where those are kept. See this doorway underwater? Now we can actually dive deep enough to go into it. Which warps us over to 
Lake Hylia. And guess what's in Lake Hylia? A bottle. There's something inside. I wonder what's inside. Well, let's find out. Let's bring it to the king. So let's dive back down. I'm gonna warp back to Zora's domain. See right down here, we have two fairies, and there's a letter inside. Spoiler alert. I don't know what the letter says. Let's bring it to the king. He's really worried about his daughter. So let's equip it. Since that stranger Ganondorf came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear, of course. You will go find Ruto. You can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter and you keep the bottle. Take it respectfully. Please find my dear Princess Ruto immediately. And boy, does he take his time. <laughs> He's not the, uh, the fastest fish in the Zora's Fountain. And one thing I meant to do back there, I meant to you need to get a fish. And that'll make Lord Jabu Jabu, Jabu open his mouth to let us in. That's the next dungeon. However, there's something we can do back here, I believe. If we blow that up, guess what's back here? Another great fairy fountain. Once again, we see the Triforce. What do we play? Zelda's Lullaby. Spell, please take it. <laughs> Is there a second magic spell? Furor's Wind. This is creates warp magic. You will teleport to the warp point. When you first use the magic, you'll create a warp point. When you use the magic again, you can either dispel the warp point you created last time or warp to that point. 
You can use it only in dungeons that have a dungeon map hidden inside. Alright. So if we look at our subscreens, there's Din's Fire, there's Flora's Wind, and there's one more that we can get after that. So let's go back to Zora's Domain. another gold skull tala over here to the left however you cannot get it until if you stand on that log you can get uh, you need the uh, boomerang to retrieve it or later of course the hook shot but yeah the boomerang so he will not open his mouth without a fish being placed in front of him he's always hungry and it's like giving an offering if you will to him, so to get a fish, we need an empty bottle. Luckily, we have three of them now. Two with fairies, and one empty one. Now, besides bugs, you can actually uh, collect fish. So, the quickest way to dive off of here, instead of going down to that warp to the lake. Come up here, see these fish in the water? Swimming around. Swipe your bottle. You got a fish. And now we have a fish. And with this fish, we can give it as an offering to Lord Jabu Jabu. Of course, they just gave us a Deku stick. Um, later we can use that to light all these torches on the way down there to the water where the fish were. And if you do it all the way to this little alcove under the waterfall, you can actually, uh, a chest will appear. Uh, it magically appear, and inside that chest is a piece of heart. We're not going to do that right now, but yes, that's something we can do. Alright, so here we go, guys. After all the collecting that we've done in this episode, we can now we can now do this. There's that lovely chime letting us know we've done something correct. He opens his mouth. He wants that fish. sucked inside and now we are inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly this is where we're going to wrap it up for this edition of our walkthrough and playthrough of Ocarina of Time I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am I always love playing this game um, it's one of my favorite games ever, and uh, anyway, I'm loving every moment of it. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me and spending this time. Please uh, like this, uh, share it, add your comments below, and uh, remember, God loves you guys. Please pray for people around the world, especially the children. They're constantly under attack, and um, anyway, you guys mean a lot to me. God loves you. You're in my prayers, and I hope you're praying for others. Be kind, be nice, be strong, everyone. All right, God bless, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Have a good night.